my initial thought was, I'm too healthy for this and I don't want to go back to a hospital. I didn't know anything was available until my doctor told me about it. And he suggested that I try it, and I did. So what we are looking at is to improve their quality of life. And people worry that it's going to be a large out-of-pocket expense, but it isn't. It's a, it's a well-covered service. I can't wait to come to rehab. Just the little things are what makes life worth living, and hopefully we're able to get you back on your journey. Pulmonary rehab is a program designated mostly for COPD patients to help them learn to exercise and use breathing techniques to help maintain their COPD. COPD covers many illnesses including emphysema, asthma, we have pulmonary fibrosis patients, sarcoidosis, um, lung transplant patients participate in our program as well. Our goal with pulmonary rehab is with exercise and education to give participants the security to get back to enjoying the things they do in their daily life. We're going to teach them new breathing techniques. We're going to increase their resistance and their ability to move day to day so they can go back to enjoy doing the things they love. But it's not limited to COPD. It could be any kind of lung disease which has crippled their activities. So what we are looking at is to improve their quality of life so that they are able to do more things that they enjoy on a daily basis. Pulmonary rehab is a total of 36 sessions stretching over 12 to 14 weeks. With the program we start out every day with education. We cover different topics that would affect um, your chronic lung disease and we want to help manage it. It really is important for them to learn what medications they're taking, the purpose of it, why they need to take it, why you need to take it every day, not quit taking it just because you feel better. And so by, by having pharmacy come in and explain that, they, I think they like that one-on-ones where they finally have someone face-to-face -face that they can ask any kind of question and not be embarrassed about it. Same with nutrition. For people with COPD, you burn a lot of calories just by your trying to breathe. So they can help people with that, tell them what kind of foods they need to eat, things they need, they need to stay away from also. We attend as a pharmacy staff, one of us attends uh, once a month and we go over, we try to go over medications as a group, um, you know, the, the medication classes that are used for respiratory disorders. But then we also like to meet with each patient um, and go over their individual inhalers or oral medications that they're taking um, to make sure they're not having any issues. Um, a big complaint we always get is side effects, so we try to address those one-on-one -on -one with the patient because um, there are so many different inhalers, so many different options. We can't really present a presentation to the whole group. We like to break it up and, and meet with each patient individually. Sometimes, I mean, we have patients that are obese, overweight, and then sometimes we have the patients that don't eat enough. And the biggest thing is trying to keep them consistent. I tell them the first thing they should do is keep a diary of what, what they eat on a regular basis so that way we can evaluate what's going on. It certainly is understandable that somebody who is short of breath with minimal exertion will be afraid when you tell them you're going to do rehab and you're going to get on a bike and a treadmill and use an arm cycle when they have been sedentary because of their lung disease. So they're afraid that they're going to be pushed too hard and it's hard to reassure them but once they get there and they realize that there are other patients that are in the same boat the staff has seen it all before and the staff is very supportive in getting people moving within their limits before i started the program uh, i could walk maybe 10 feet and then i had to stop because i was just totally depleted of oxygen so after i've been in the program a short time now, it's given me the ability to breathe easier, to breathe better. My lungs feel like they're getting stronger so that now I can go out and I can go shopping or I can take a walk and uh, I'm not completely out of oxygen. Majority of the time, they are somewhat reluctant initially. They feel that, well, 
I can't do it because it's, I mean, I'm not able to walk from room to room. How am I going to do this? But majority of the patients, uh, when they agree, when they go to the rehab program, and they only had good, good things to say. I have rarely seen a patient who said, it didn't help me. Well, the program gives you the support you need. They're understanding, you've got people who are trained to help you. The exercising is something that I think we're all a little guilty of putting off. And here, it's not really, you just, it, the time passes quickly. You have people who are there doing the same thing. You just feel better about yourself. That was me when I started. It was like, I can't do this. They expect me to do these things and I cannot do it. And I have to honestly say, Amy and, and Carol are the best cheerleaders in the world because you know they're constantly pushing you. You can do it, you can do it, or, or how about another minute or whatever. And you eventually do get there to the point that you can do it. There's a, a peer support aspect and when you go to a pulmonary rehab session, you'll see patients trading tips, ideas about how do you deal with taking oxygen on a trip, um, little tricks for energy conservation, how do you do some tasks more easily within the confines of your lung disease. And those aren't things that, that a doctor can tell the patients. We understand the condition, but we don't have to live with it. Only somebody who lives with it can really fully appreciate what it means to be short of breath doing what you want to do. I can't wait to come to rehab. I am ready to come to rehab. If I miss a day, I feel horrible. It's like, I'm ready to get back to rehab. We've had some patients that, I mean, just to walk up the steps to come in, sometimes they have to use the elevator because there's nine steps to come into the front door. And finally being able to walk up nine steps without being short of breath. Some of them are finally, instead of going through the drive-through or even actually leaving their house to go out to eat, see that they can now go out to eat, they can now go out and buy groceries, they can go out and function in community and not be embarrassed by wearing oxygen and not be so short of breath. Amy approached me, who's the head of our pulmonary rehab, about, she knew I play guitar, I was in a band, I'm a musician, about if I could, and I said, well, I'm more than happy to give it a try. So uh, we, she did some research, I did some research. We got together, I bought a harmonica, taught myself how to play to see if I felt that the effects would be there. And they definitely were as far as helping you control your breath. So together we decided to give it a shot, see if it worked. Uh, you know the rhythm, just so that way when we come in, we can all play together and work on if there's any problems, all right? playing these songs you have to have you only have so much air it's moderating how much to put out when to play real hard when to play real soft and for COPD patients that's huge to be able to control their breath that's a massive part if, the, if you're at home and you're in a struggle you have a way you know you can control your breath it's a massive massive thing and once I came over here and saw the program and saw what all it offered and saw that the options I had, uh, I was tickled to death to be able to come to a program like this and be with the staff and the other people that are going through the same thing that I'm experiencing. But I would say about 50% of the people who I recommend go to rehab do it. And again, just as a, an anecdotal rough estimate, I would say 90% of them have some improvement once they go through the program. But I think it's just a support that you know there's someone here who cares.